We continue our CA Hoop Summer School Series presented by Sona Bank. And today we're with the head coach of the Drexel Dragons, Amy Mallon. And coach, I know we spoke just a few months ago when you were just uh, promoted to the head coaching position. But uh, once again, we're checking in. Uh, first of all, how are you doing and those around you during the coronavirus pandemic? Well, it's good to see you again. Thanks for uh, having me today. And, you know, it's been interesting. There hasn't, you know, we, we talked about, there hasn't been a lot of change, um, as much change as we'd like to have seen happen so far, but um, we're hanging in there. You know, it's been an interesting summer. Um, you know, my family, we've been able to do a few little um, small trips to see other family members, um, but that's pretty much about it. But it's been, it's been interesting. I can't, it's, it's in some ways things have flown by. I can't believe it's already August In other ways it hasn't. So it's been, um, really interesting on our end, but we're hanging in there and just kind of trying to stay positive each day with uh, what's going on within the, what we have control over. Speaking of this kind of long pandemic that's now lasted, you know, for a while now, uh, on the brighter side, you said you visited some family, but what other kind of fun things have you done during this break? Has there been a new TV, a show or series you've watched or a book you've read or, or any other events have happened uh, during your time during this pandemic? I have to say I'm reading a lot of books. I feel like I'm going through, like starting them and kind of starting another one. So I have a lot of basketball books, uh, The Back Roads to March by John Feinstein, which has been a fun one just because it has a lot of Philly uh, people in it. But um, I have to say with having seven-year-old twins, we've been catching up on America's Got Talent and World um, World Dance with J-Lo. So we enjoy watching those types of shows as a family. And I'm still working on the Ray Donovan series, which was um, on Netflix, our Showtime, I think. And that's been going on for like seven seasons, and it's pretty long. So that's pretty much, I'm still in the fifth season, so I'm working through that as well. But those are probably the shows. Um, and then most recently, it's been fun just to be able to watch the WNBA, the NBA, and the Phillies, you know, and the Flyers. They're all on right now. So it's been like a whole new um, thing in our, in our household at night. You know, I'm like flicking from game to game just for, for the live sports action so that's been kind of that's been fun to be able to see just most recently. Absolutely, us sports folks sticking to our sports. I know we're loving live sports being back, and we can't wait to have you and your team back on the court as well. And, and speaking of your team, uh, what is the plan moving forward right now? When do you expect to be able to have your team back on campus? And 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 what type of workouts have they been doing? You know, away from campus right now. So our arrival is in September. We actually, you know, Drexel starts a little bit later anyway due to our academic terms. So our girls will be arriving on campus um, early September, which is a little change. And usually they're in in for summer session, at least one session, and then they go home and come back. Um, But they've been keeping busy. You know, we have a few of our players that are co-oping, so they're working um, as well as working out. As far as the workouts, you know, I kind of it was interesting because when our staff, we talked about summer workouts, it's kind of going back to the old school way. Like that's how it was when I played, you know, you pretty much went home for the whole summer and you were expected to work out on your own. And that's kind of been our philosophy. Like, Hey, you know, what needs to be done right now. Um, We obviously have guidelines and things that we can send out, like that you can actually use as um, guidance with your workouts, but the expectation is you come in ready to go. You know, you know, you need to be conditioned to a certain extent, and we're going to, you know, so when we get going, we'll, we'll be ready. You know, the other piece that we work on the team, you know, being together, working on those things will happen. But I think for the summer, I know um, they're trying to hold each other accountable. You know, it's really through the leadership. You know, we have three seniors um, this year and Hannah Nihill, Kayla Bacon and Mariah Leonard. And that's the conversations I, you know, meet with them every other week and just talk about how they're holding their teammates accountable. That's really kind of going to be the big piece. You know, we have to come back and we can't use, um, the COVID virus for why we're not going to do something. That's, that's been my big message to them. It can't be an excuse for why we don't do something. So, um, you know, and, and I really like what I'm seeing from the group, um, starting with that aspect and hopefully, you know, it just continues to, um, be something that they focus on when we get back. And coach, obviously this pandemic has come with a lot of, you know, challenges in itself, uh, you know, not being able to see your team this summer. And, and, and of course, and one of the challenges have to be some of the newcomers on your team and trying to get them adapted to you. Uh, with that challenge, who, who are some of the newcomers that you expect to maybe, you know, make a splash early on? We have four um, incoming freshmen. So, uh, the one we have uh, from Australia, so that's been a little bit of a harder thing because you have a kid um, coming from international, from another country, so it's been a little more difficult um, because of some of the restrictions that have been put on. But 
Chloe Rogers is, um, she's actually, you know, she plays their summer is our winter, you know, so they play, they play their seasons now. So she is able to play basketball where she is, which is great because she's getting um, that piece in, but we're um, hoping that she's going to be able to arrive uh, to campus safely. And then we have a local and Erin Sweeney. She's from Archbishop Carroll, which we've had um, a lot of luck and success with our Archbishop Carroll players in the past with Holly Mershon, Rachel Pearson, Megan Creighton. Um, we've had several players, Sarah Kern, who have come out of that school. So we feel really lucky that we have another one coming in with Erin Sweeney. So she's local and she actually gets to see some of our other local players. You know, they um, are in touch and able to see each other throughout the summer. And then we have um, Elizabeth Dufresne from um, Virginia and she, she, you know, she's been working. I know, you know, we have a thing going with our team where we do um, motivational Monday, trick shot Tuesday, workout Wednesday, you know, TikTok Thursday, you got to have a TikTok in your week and then uh, Freaky Friday. And in that, you know, all the freshmen are involved in that. So that's been a nice piece just to kind of every, every week know you're hearing someone's in charge or whatever that, um, that theme is for the day. But Elizabeth's going to bring some, you know, energy and just shooting. She can shoot the ball. She's a playmaker. She does a little bit of everything. So I'm excited about Elizabeth. And then Jasmine Valentine, she's from Maryland and she's our workhorse. So I really think she brings that mentality uh, she's going to do whatever it takes on the court, get that rebound, that hustle play. And that's something I feel like we've always had a few players who just are really um, strong in that category, and that just brings everybody else up. So I know she's going to push her teammates every day at practice. So I feel like the, those four incoming freshmen um, have the work ethic, and I also think they're going to really add um, right away with, you know, we, we did lose a lot this year, so we have expectations of the freshmen coming in and, and contributing right away. And coach, that kind of leads me to my next question. How will your team look different this season than last? Obviously, Bailey Greenberg being a big uh, missing piece uh, uh, that, you know, graduated this past year. You know, of course, we're going to miss Bailey, um, you know, and Aubrey Brown, who both as a duo played more minutes than any other uh, two in the history of our program. So they, they were a one-two punch because Aubrey did a lot to get Bailey the ball, you know, and she knew where she was going to be. And obviously, Bailey's all-around game and performance and just leadership – um, was so key for us over the last, you know, especially the last two years with the success we've had. But, you know, we, we lose four seniors and Nikki Metzl and Anna Ferrari. And I think the key is going to be, um, you know, I've really said to this group, it's going to be the year we won the regular season two years ago. And we, we lost a lot of three, you know, 3,000 point scores. We lost a lot of production. And that following year, you know, we end up winning – the regular season title with Kelsey Lidge as one of our leaders because they were just they just wanted to prove that they could win you know that they were as good as the group before them and I think that's got to be the mentality with this group we're losing a lot of production a lot of minutes a lot of success a lot of wins and I think this you know this core of seniors has got to say hey you know we got to prove that we can be the best again and that's that's going to be the mentality coming in if they want to finish at the top of the league. And coach talk about the CA landscape obviously you've been in this league for a while uh how, how has it changed for this upcoming year? Obviously, there's a lot of unknowns, you know, just the, the way our season ended, you know. So there's like, you know, you hope that the group coming back has some closure to that, you know, and that's part of maybe the motivation they'll have going into this year. So that piece alone, it's, it's something no one's ever had to, to deal with. And then leading into it is a little bit of the unknown of knowing what's going to happen with the preseason, you know, how we're going to – you know, there's already games on your schedule that are no longer there because you've scheduled teams that, like Ivy League teams who have already canceled games till January. So it's kind of that landscape leading into the conference is like a whole new approach, you know. So I feel like going into conference, that competition, those rivals are going to continue just to, th to thrive because it's something everyone's going to be so, I think, so appreciative of being able to be on the court and play a game. I think that's going to be the mentality going into it. So I feel like, you know, the CA as a whole, it's been – Great. I've, I played in the CA. You know, I've obviously coached um, going into my 17th year, so I've seen so many changes throughout my time. But, you know, it all comes down to why we do what we do. Um, we obviously love working with the young athletes, but it's also, you know, we, we play games. We're competitive people. We want to go out, be on the floor, and prove that we can be the best every time we step on the floor, whatever the outcome is. So I think that's not going to change in the CA as far as our approach to a, a, another season approaching um, this year. Wrapping up today with Drexel head coach Amy Mallon and, and coach obviously another headline this uh, offseason unfortunately the social injustice uh, happening in our country. Uh, what have the conversations around your team concerning the social injustice movement and Black Lives Matter been like? 
You know, we, we've definitely committed to um, keeping those conversations um, going. And, you know, we bi-weekly, we meet with um, Kiva Gordon, who's in our HR department, but also head of one of our um, anti-racism task forces at Drexel. And he really t has taken us on as, um, you know, a chance to speak with us and educate our group as a whole so we can go out at the same time and um, you know educate be educated but also know how to speak and, and not be silent on what's going on and I think he's been you know working with Kiva we've now been you know since everything headline we've we've been meeting with him bi-weekly and it's you know every time it's a little different it could be watching a, a show or watching a documentary or just some you know a piece that's the education piece but I also feel like as a whole our team is committed to making sure that this is a conversation we have throughout the year that's important throughout the CA, which we've, we've had our coaches meetings. And I think um, everyone has been, um, has, has been really strong about what they've had to say and making sure that this doesn't, um, this is something that's vital and important to our conference. And we want to make sure we continue to talk about it. We, you know, we have two of our, um, a staff member and one of our players on our task force committee for the university. So I'm really proud of the work we're going to be doing and continue to do. Um, and on top, you know, even one of our, our grad assistants, uh, Kelsey Ledge, who played for us, is now leading a black student union at the at the school, which I think, you know, it's, it's an important piece to her and to all of us. And we just, we know being a team um, and being visual on campus that we have a chance to make a difference in our leadership. And so in women's basketball, we feel like we have an opportunity to do that. So we're going to continue to make sure we stay um have to keep those conversations going, keep the dialogue and just make sure people know we're not going to stand for this injustice. And we're going to, if we can impact and make a difference, we're, we're going to do it. Okay. Coach uh, Amy Mallon from the Drexel Dragons. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, stay healthy, stay safe. And uh, hopefully we'll see uh, the Dragons out on the court uh, sooner rather than later. Thanks, Bobby. It was good seeing you.